After they had eaten, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Take care of my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Take care of my sheep. A third time, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, Do you love me? Peter became sad because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? And so he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. I am telling you the truth. When you were young, you used to get ready and go anywhere you wanted to. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will tie you up and take you where you don't want to go. In saying this, Jesus was indicating the way in which Peter would die and bring glory to God. Then Jesus said to him, Follow me. Peter turned round and saw behind him that other disciple whom Jesus loved, the one who had leaned close to Jesus at the meal and had asked, Lord, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he asked, Lord, what about this man? I want him to live until I come. What is that to you? Follow me. So a report spread among the followers of Jesus that this disciple would not die. But Jesus did not say he would not die. He said, if I want him to live until I come, what is that to you? He is the disciple who spoke of these things, the one who also wrote them down. And we know that what he said is true. Now there are many other things that Jesus did. If they were all written down one by one, I suppose that the whole world could not hold the books that would be written.